India's Tejas Mark II fighter jet is the country's second fighter jet. It's a 4.5-generation canard delta wing, single-engine multi-role military aircraft. It is being built by the Aeronautical Development Agency in conjunction with the Aircraft Research and Design Center of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. With a lengthened airframe, close-coupled canards, additional sensors, and a more powerful engine, it is an evolution of the HAL Tejas. The preliminary design studies for the Tejas Mark II were finished in 2014, and the vehicle was in the detailed design phase in 2015. In 2019, the upgraded fighter, a 17.5-ton fighter with close-coupled canards and an integrated IRST system, was first shown at the Aero India Air Show. The first four prototypes will be available in December 2022, with the first flight scheduled for 2023. The Mark II will have a similar design to the Mark I, but the majority of the technology will come from HALS Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. The radar cross-section will be reduced to achieve stealth design. It has twisted air intake passages and a skin constructed of composites with radar-absorbent coatings. It has a single vertical stabilizer, tailless delta wing designs with close-coupled canards for static instability, excellent maneuverability, and fly-by-wire instability management. Furthermore, to achieve incapable speed and controls, pilots must be maintained with proper oxygen supply, so HAL has been developed indigenously integrated life support system on board oxygen generation system. Furthermore, even aircraft health is also monitored through the system, which is functioning from the integrated various sensors on board Tejas Mark II. It has a higher payload capacity than the Mark I with a payload capacity of over 6,500 kg and an internal fuel capacity of around 3,400 kg. It can carry multiple weapons for a longer range. The data fusion of active and passive sensors is built into the Tejas Mark II. It will have a variation of the UTAM AESA radar as well as an infrared search and track system for passive target acquisition. Tejas Mark II will be equipped with an indigenously developed software, defined radio-based tactical data link enabling secure communications and network-centric combat capabilities, which will be supported by the IAF Digital Information Grid. The glass cockpit of the Tejas Mark II will be compatible with night vision goggles and will be dominated by a touch-sensitive wide-area display in panoramic configuration and a wide-angle holographic head-up display. To reduce the pilot's burden, it has hand-on-throttle and stick configurations with right hand-on-stick and left hand-on-throttle settings. The F414 engine produced by GE powers the Mark II, however, it will be replaced once an Indian power plant is available. Let's have a look at the specifications. The Mark II is 47.11 feet long, with a wingspan of 27.11 feet and a height of 15.11 feet. It has an empty weight of around 7,850 kilograms, a gross weight of 11,300 kilograms, and a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 17,500 kilograms. It has an internal fuel capacity of 3,300 kilograms and a drop tank capacity of 3,500 kilograms. In external stores, it can carry a payload of 6,500 kilograms. With the afterburner, the General Electric F414 engine can deliver 98 kN of thrust. It is equipped with a single 30mm GSH cannon. It features 13 hard points with a capacity of 6.5 tons and the ability to transport a variety of payload. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles like Osram and others are to be planned to install in future that is MICA, Meteor, Astra, and NGCCM.
It is capable of carrying air-to-surface missiles such as the BrahMos and Crystal Maze. The LRLACM, Storm Shadow, and Rudram, on the other hand, will be planned. It can also carry bombs like precision-guided munition like Spice, HSLD, DRDO Glide Bomb, DRDO Saw, Laser Guided Bomb, Cluster Munition, Unguided Bombs. What are your thoughts on the Tejas Mark II fighter? Please let us know in the comments area if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe if you are new to our channel.